I recently watched The Imperfect Show on Netflix and really enjoyed the see-through text transitions in the show. It is basically a text cutout on top of the video and the video in the text changes and then we get to zoom in to the new scene. Here is a super quick tutorial on how it can be done using Affinity and LumaFusion. In Affinity we can make the white background with the text or the artwork. I have used Affinity because the text contains some elements which I find easier to do in Affinity than in LumaFusion. After you have your text or your artwork in a white background, make sure that the transparent areas will be filled with green. Next, we can export this to our camera roll by using the export function and then selecting share, which will give you the option to save the image to your camera roll. Time to switch to LumaFusion. Here I have the composition with two clips which I will use the effect of. From one happy couple to another happy couple. So the first thing we need to do is to import the image we exported from Affinity into LumaFusion. From the photo selection I can go to all photos and videos and drag and drop the exported image. I will then make the duration of this image a bit longer, around 9 seconds. So we'll get a nice speed of animation. I'm also going to drag it one level up as the second clip will move to the second layer and it will come into view around the last quarter of the first clip. Awesome, we got the base set up. Now to do the animation. Let's start with the text. First thing we need to do is to make it transparent. By selecting the keyer under color and effect, we can use the green screen function. By default the edges will be blurred, but for this we want to have a nice and sharp edge. So, let's set the edge blur radius to 0. Perfect, time to animate it. Let's switch back to frame and fit. As it will start animating in from the right, the starting point of the transparent text will need to be set just outside of the view. I'm guessing 5 seconds will be enough for the scrolling animation. So around 5 seconds I'm going to add another keyframe and move the text to its ending position. Let's have a quick look how that looks for now. Awesome! We are halfway there. Let me zoom the timeline by pinching out. I want the second clip to come in with the letter C. So I will position the timeline so that the letter C is out of sight. I can then position the second clip to start from here. I can now open up the second clip and add the keyframes so it will start with the letter just out of sight and moves along with the text. The end keyframe will be when the letter C touches the left border. Great, let's go back and have a quick look. Nice, but if we look closely we can see that the second clip is not in sync with the letter C. So let's open it up again and add some keyframes in between to make sure it follows the letter C. Now that looks much better. The final step is to zoom in to the last letter to get the feeling we go through the text into the clip. As we want to get that zoom through effect, it should not be that fast, so I think a second would work well. I will zoom the text and move it until we see a little bit of text. Then after moving 9 to 10 keyframes, I will add another keyframe. This will make the animation go faster at the end. At this keyframe I will zoom in and position it so the text is no longer visible. Let's have a look. We're almost done. That looks pretty awesome. As a final touch, to give that zoom in effect, I will also zoom into the clip when we start zooming with the text. Once I have found my starting point, I will add a keyframe and move to 3 quarters of the zoom and then set the scale of the clip to around 110%. Then, I will do the same for the end of the animation, but this time set its scale to around 120. Awesome! Let's go and preview our animation. I like to go back and review it a couple of times to make sure it feels natural. Once we're done, we can easily export it. The effect is pretty cool and can be easily also done in pretty much any video editing software. Here is the final result. 
I hope you liked this video and thanks again for watching. Until the next video.